M0FXB, just a quick one here with the ICOM 7610 in the background and the X6100 here just beneath. So you're listening to the 100 at the moment. It's not got an external speaker at the moment. I'll plug one in. There you are, that sounds a lot better. So if I turn that down, now we're running two long wires here. 66 foot with a 49 to 1 balance. Let's turn up the other one. 7610 now. Okay, we'll turn it down. Now, this isn't a comparison. This is just a video showing these two radios together. There's a big price difference, but functionality wise, you've got HF, six meters, built in tuner. You can pretty much work the same bands, modes, ETC, but yeah, one is completely portable, even has a built in microphone. And then the other one is a base station radio. So let's just tune up, let's just tune on the Zygu. Because, you know, you think Zygu now, you'll probably get one of these £550. Of course, QRP, not 100 watt. If you put older firmware, you can get rid of the audio scope, but you bring back the bugs that were in the radio when it first was released. That's the downside. Right, so you're right now you're listening to the Zygu. Turn that down. And then we'll turn up the Right, turn down the 7610, back with the Zygu. Seems to have stopped. Let's keep going. Notice that line move as I'm tuning the Zygu. Did you see that? Interesting. Seven one two seven UK station. Right now on the seven six one zero. Turn it down, similar weak signal, weakish, but completely usable. Another lo local station. Turn up the Zygu, I mean the Icon. And that's a three thousand pound radio. I'm not going to activate the tuner, but you can see there's a tuner. CW decode on the X six one hundred. 
You can send messages. It's got a WFU server, which means it will link to WFU and SDR control app. The 7610 does not have Wi-Fi, but it does have an Ethernet connection. Bluetooth connect to your programs as well with the Zygu. Now you can't, you can't use Bluetooth with audio, but you can. There are certain programs that will interact with this device via Bluetooth. So I think that's about it. What my main point is is. You know, I do hear people slating the Zygu, the X6100, quite often. But no, it's a good device. Yes, when we're talking about birdies, if I disconnect the antenna completely, and you get the birdies, and the newer firmware gets less. I mean, it's quite good today. If you get the older firmware, you'll have a few lines here. It, it does not affect how the radio works at all at all it still works fine and I mean you still got you got this interference that I'm getting here these all these lines here as well on the but that'll be my fault it won't be the radio's fault so thanks for watching it's just uh, you know this isn't a comparison this is just look at these two radios this one's 600 pound that one's 3,000 pounds um, most of the time most of the time we just sit at home and listen yeah um, and so a set like this, and of course you've got the new 200 model, it's going to work fine for you. But I would say the 6100 is better value now, because you'll probably pick one of these up. Some special offer, I would say, uh, quite a low price. Bye for now, all the best.